Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, um, been through a couple heartbreakers since coming here to Arkansas, but that one might be at the top of it just to be that close in that type of a game and to, and to walk out empty-handed, uh, to put in all the work that they did during the course of the week to to put together everything we have since being uh, a one and three team and, and to battle back to get to where we need to be and um, to fall short uh, on a few plays is very disappointing. Um, the good news is things can be corrected. I think there's some things out there that we could have won the game at a, a couple different ventures uh, during the course of the second half. Um, I'll give Mississippi State a lot of credit. Uh, they came in and had a good plan, offense, defense, special teams, and and, and came out swinging, and, and our guys responded. I thought when we got the score at the end of the first half, that was a really big, big deal, and then obviously couldn't ask for a better start to the second half uh, in all three phases. Um, you know, I, I knew that their offense was was dangerous. I knew at times we weren't we weren't able to stop them doing certain things, um, and, and uh, uh, you know, we just weren't opportunistic enough, and then you know, going down to that last last series, last drive, we said uh, we were going to start off. We weren't going to go two minutes until we got inside the two minute. Uh, we weren't going to um, we we're going to go for the score. Uh, if we did find ourselves inside the twenty, uh, we felt really good about our field goal opportunity uh, inside the twenty yard line from the left to left middle. Um, that's what kind of drove our thinking there at the end, and obviously we weren't able to execute the most uh, most monumental, easy. Um, um, thing that we have to be able to accomplish, which is a, a field goal inside a 20-yard line uh, for, a, for a college football team. We'll get a lot of – we start every practice with that, uh, put a huge amount of emphasis on it, and obviously it wasn't enough. Uh, and that's my fault if we didn't prepare enough uh, for that for that situation. But um, uh, extremely disappointed for our players, our coaches, our fans, put a lot into that. Uh, got a short work week this week. Um, nobody's going to feel far, sorry for us. No one's going to, uh, you know – you know, feel that they um, can can go back and obviously uh, uh, look at the film and make corrections. But uh, what's done is done, and now we'll move ourselves into the preparation mode for Missouri on a short work week. Uh, got to do a tremendous job of getting our guys back mentally, uh, physically. Got some guys banged up. I think a lot of them uh, returned in the second half. But uh, we got to put ourselves together for a six-week window and and hopefully end this thing up right for our seniors. So, uh, with that, I'll open up for questions. I, I missed first, but. Yeah, you know, um, we got uh, McFain back two weeks ago, and I had uh, made a decision before last week's game. Uh, we would go with Cole to the 23-yard line and McFain from the 23 and out because he had really uh, had hit the ball pretty well during practice. Cole had been hitting the ball pretty well during practice and, and getting good height on it, but I agree with you. I think that I just got really the live version of it there. You know, I, I it was a bang-bang play. I know it was – a little bit of a wobbly snap. I thought it, we got it down. It did look low uh, from from the vantage point I had. I haven't been able to take a peek on it yet, but uh, we, we got to be able to hold up in, in not only our, our battery, which is the snap, the hold, and the, and the kick, but also in our protection as well. Yeah, obviously um, um, there was all the way until we got inside that 20, and then we, we ran a one-back uh, uh, run play that was actually the play that uh, it's the same play that Alex scored on uh, last week, the long, the long touchdown play. Um, just a one-back power play that uh, we felt really good about, and we, we, their, their guy kind of grabbed the inside leg of Cody, which which got him down. They obviously called a timeout. We, we liked the run play that we had just as well as the pass play. But you know, I, I get what you're saying. But anytime you put the ball in the air, you know, you put yourself vulnerable for a pick as well, uh, as well as an. Uh, uh, we didn't want to lose yardage for sure. Just, just continues to be very impressive. He threw some money throws today, you know, some pressure in his face, stepped up in the pocket. Um, I, I tell you what, the catch he made too looked to be pretty, pretty, pretty good football play for a, a quarterback as well. So uh, again, just really continues to uh, to impress. And, and, and for all those seniors, especially, we gotta we gotta do everything we can to send them out the right way this weekend. You know, I think they did a, a couple of things. First, they're getting rid of the ball really quick. Um, uh, you know, last week, obviously, he had quite a few sacks in that Alabama game and uh, was holding the ball a little bit, trying to get the ball down the field. They were getting rid of the ball very fast out there today. Anytime he did hang on the ball, we did get a little bit of pressure. Uh, the last two series before the second half, or before the first half, and in the second half when there were some opportunities, they were there, but they got the ball out of his hands pretty quick. Got a 
Well, I think uh, there was in the first half, especially they were getting a lot of uh, uh, leverage plays where they're motioning the back out of the backfield quick, getting in, in quads to the field or quads to the boundary, and trying to outnumber and outrun us to the to the wide side of the field. Uh, I thought Rob made a nice adjustment at halftime. Uh, I think we held them scoreless in the third, but obviously the fourth, uh, they got back to a few few more things, um, uh, just some some uh, some slants, some quick unders, uh, some quick outs, kind of nickel and dimed us. Um, uh, but that's a lot of yardage, and we we can't win football games with that kind of yardage total. You know, I had a lot of respect for Dak uh, coming into this season, just uh, going against him the last two years. And then when I flipped on the film last Sunday, I'd realized how much of a big jump he had made, and uh, he, he's really done a nice job. Uh, Dan Dan does a great great job with his players. They're uh, he's very accurate. I thought they used him very, very well. Uh, you know, on first and second down, didn't put him in bad situations on third down. And, and uh, the thing he always has, he has the ability to escape with his athleticism and his size as well. Coach Tidy said five touchdown today. Talk about that. Tidy said, what, five touchdown? Yeah. Um, Hunter, I know I was real concerned. I saw him out there when I went out there. He's like, Coach, I rolled it, I rolled it. Um, I think it kind of just scared him there a little bit. And then he, no doubt he's probably injured. Sprinkle has continued to grow. Those two guys are as good a tandem as I've ever had. Um, uh, Dan does a nice job of designing plays for them and, uh, you know, making some things happen. Them, uh, and, and they're a pleasure to be around. Just, just wasn't enough. Drew's pretty banged up. He's been dragged banged up uh, really ever since uh, the second week after, really after the Auburn game. Um, uh, just a, a relentless. Uh, a uh, kid that, that, that plays very hard, and he didn't practice Tuesday or Wednesday. I think he practiced Thursday, but um, just a, another great, uh, great, great Arkansas kid that's playing his tail off. I think, I think it was, it was th you guys were up 31 21, and we're on the 20 something, fourth and one. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, did, did you think about trying to kick there, maybe with McFay? Yeah, we, we, we um, thought about it, but it was just out of our range. Didn't feel good about our, our, our operation, and it would be a longer range field goal. Exactly, kind of what you saw there at the end. I was worried about a block in that situation. Um, obviously, uh, it was fourth and a short one, um, but Dan felt like he wanted to take a uh, take a shot, you know. And obviously, it didn't happen. But uh, I wouldn't. I'd probably go for it again, you know. Obviously, the call you might might go back and revisit, but uh, the, the the decision to go for it, I wouldn't. Defense do to slow down Alex. Well, you know, they did a did a couple things. First, they they were doing a lot of late stems, uh, jumping from a. Uh, a strong look or an overlook to an uh, overlook the other way. They played wide nines. They weren't going to let us go outside, uh, which means we had to get it between the tackles. Um, uh, he, they tackled very, very well. They brought some pressures. It seemed like any time we ran a, uh, a play, it began to open up, and, and they, would, they would blitz into that exact area. Um, you know, there were two plays in particular where one was strong and one was weak, and they fired the safety uh, on both occasions right at the right spot. Um, so, uh, again, really – uh, really uh, fortunate for them, and, and uh, there were times where we got the running game going a little bit, but BA was throwing the ball so accurate, and, and uh, we were we were converting the ball uh, so well in the throwing game that it was hard to do that. I know you guys lost, but was this maybe Brandon's best game he's played? Um, I, I don't know. He's had a lot of good ones, Bob. I, I think uh, he is really playing to some of the throws. I think that one of the I don't know if it was Hunter's last touchdown or not. Uh, that ball was a shot uh, over the middle of the field, and um, just he's throwing them in places that no one else can get to him, as well as uh, being very, very accurate and very crisp. You guys been on such a good roll, then you get a tough loss. You got a short week. How did it go? I don't think this group will have any trouble bouncing back. I mean, I, I know it sucks. Um, it hurts. It stings. It bites. It, uh, I told our players this will so put this one on me. I'll, 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 I'll do everything I can to, to make us better in those. Those critical moments with field goal and, and uh, what, the things that we'll have to do, and uh, but but you just keep preparing the way you are, and, and uh, you handle your preparation. Short week this week with, with Missouri, we, we can we can end in a positive note for our seniors, and you know obviously the better we play at the end of the year, uh, the better it'll be for a bowl opportunities and and all those things as well. So I, I don't see him. Uh, they're gonna hurt. It's gonna it's gonna it'll take 24 hours to get this one through them, but I, I really. I really expect them to prepare pretty well this week and be ready to play. I like the look last night. You know, we, 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 I was a little concerned Tuesday, Wednesday, but they really practiced pretty well Wednesday, uh, Thursday, uh, Friday. Uh, just, just up at the hotel, they had good energy, good excitement. Um, 
uh, this morning. Just a nice little buzz about them. I, I, I really was. I thought this could be one of those games where you you, you let it down a little bit, but uh, we didn't. I mean, they came out swinging for four quarters, and so did they. And uh, unfortunately, just came up short. Coach, what makes defending the spread with a mobile quarterback so so difficult? Because yeah, Kelly had a big game. Yeah, um, well, I think those quarterbacks are, are good players. They're, 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 I think overall, which is something I can't cure overnight, uh, we're just our defensive depth at fullback or at, fullback, at linebacker and back end is we're just thin. Um, it, it's it's unfortunate how much of a chain reaction you know when we when we lost Josh, um, uh, lost really the only linebacker depth that we had. And unfortunately, I probably uh, over the last two years undersigned at linebacker, which is really really hurt us because um, now even uh, with, with uh, uh, Dwayne Eugene back out there in the cast, he really can't do much. So we're really at a two. Uh, we have linebackers coming in on official visits. Uh, you know, high school kids, I joke with them, my man, I wish you could play today. And I'm not joking, but just because we just, we don't have any depth. We have no uh, no backup roles, no uh, no ability to get those guys out of the game. And, you know, Brooks, he, he, he just was getting so taxed out there today. And Dre, um, it, it's tough to keep those guys going. Coach B, how is uh, Dominique Reed and Jerry Cornelius? You know, Dominique, uh, I think uh, it was ankle, I think a little bit, but uh, he came back and, 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 and pulled back through that. And then Jared, I think, was a heavy cramping issue. Um, you know, he just uh, playing, his, playing his heart out and, and tail off. And, and um, one of the things that we were really stressing this week, you know, as the temperatures go down, kids just naturally, it's human nature, they don't think they have to, because they're not sweating as much, they don't think they have to drink as much. And, uh, you know, we always stress the hydration factor, and I'm sure Jared did that, but something we just would remind ourselves of this week. Second half, you went with Richardson in that little... Yeah, we went to more dimes. Uh, we, we thought they were... I think uh, uh, Ole Miss at some point, or, or sorry, Mississippi State at some point, it kind of just decided they're going to go up-tempo, which is, and, and throw it around and kind of go a, a, a two-minute look for them. You know, they had, they're obviously a no-huddle up-tempo, but nothing compared to to some of the speed they showed out there today. That was that was a lot more uh, up-tempo than they had shown uh, or previously and anything we had seen with them. And um, that was their plan. That's when Rob made the decision, Rob and Clay, they went more two-minute type defense with Dime, uh, that personnel package you're talking about, and, and had three defensive ends in the game instead of, instead of two D tackles, two D ends. All right, thanks, everybody. Thank you.